I've got some leftover pork, I've got some beans. So today I'm gonna show you how to make my super easy slow cooker barbecue pork and beans. Yeah, we're using the slow cooker today because this is the perfect way to make barbecue beans with leftover pork. The pork I'm gonna be using today is some leftover smoked rib meat. Just had a ton of rib meat left over, froze it. This is the perfect thing for it. Now we're gonna be starting with two pounds of pinto beans. Now these beans have been soaked overnight in some water that covers them by about an inch. I rinsed them off, drained them. We're gonna get them in the slow cooker. That overnight soak helps soften them a bit and gets them ready for the slow cooking process. Now we're gonna add about three cups of pork. And this is, like I said, chopped up rib meat. You can use any sort of pork you want, pulled pork. You could use like pork loin, but that's a little bit drier, less fat. So I find that that doesn't work quite as well in this. I'm gonna add a cup of a low sodium chicken stock. You can use any sort of broth you want here. I would stick to like vegetable or chicken. I personally wouldn't use beef, but you certainly can if you want. Now I'm gonna add three and a half cups of barbecue sauce. This is any sort of barbecue sauce you want. I would suggest a sweet sauce. And this is a great thing to use if you have a bunch of bottles of barbecue sauce in your refrigerator that are kind of half full, mix them together, use them for this. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of cayenne here. The reason we're adding this is just for a tiny little bit of heat because there's a lot of sweetness in this. And we're also gonna add one teaspoon of some granulated garlic. Finally, one medium onion that's been chopped up. I'd use a white or a yellow. I personally wouldn't use a red in this. I just wanna give this a gentle mix here just to start getting stuff to know each other in here. Now we don't add a lot of liquid up front because you can always add more liquid later. You wanna see how much liquid the beans are gonna release. They've been soaking overnight, remember. This is also one of those great dishes that if you like something else in it, put it in there. You want some bell peppers in there, chop it up, put it in. Want some jalapenos, put it in. Want some pumpkin spice? No, don't put pumpkin spice. Nothing left to do now, but get our lid on and start cooking. Now we're gonna set the slow cooker for seven hours on low. We're cooking. We'll come back in about three hours, check it, give it a stir, see if we need to add any additional liquid. Other than that, just sit and wait. I'll see you in a little bit. Our barbecue pork and beans have been going for three hours now. Time to give them a stir and see if we need to add any more liquid. Well, we definitely don't need to add any more liquid. Look at that. You can just see how the beans release a lot of that juice that they kind of absorbed when they soaked overnight. These are looking good. Smelling great too. All right, nothing left to do but get the lid on, let it keep going. I'm really not gonna worry about it until the seven hour mark, except maybe every hour or so I'll come out and give it a stir, but there's really nothing else left to add to it. We're just gonna let it develop the rest of its flavor. See you back here, probably about four hours. Okay, we have been going seven hours now. Let's give the beans a check, see if they're tender enough. My guess is probably not. These usually take somewhere between seven to 10 hours, just depending on the beans, conditions, everything. But let's see how close we are. We're looking good here. Give a good stir. I can tell just by the feel of the spoon going through there, these aren't tender yet, but let's just take a Quick little check and see. It's gonna be, I'm gonna say two to three more hours, just kind of as a guess here. Now, if you hit this stage and you wanna move it along, or even earlier, go ahead and turn the heat up to high for a few hours. But at this right now, I'm gonna leave it on low, and I'll bring you back when they're done. Okay, here we go. 10 hours total it took to get the beans to that sort of perfect tenderness. Again, if you wanna cut that shorter, you can run it at a higher temperature in your slow cooker. I decided to go with low. 
Also, different beans will behave differently. I use pinto beans. You could use Great Northern. Lots of different choices. But I gotta tell you, the color, the smell, everything about this turned out exactly the way I want. And really, the only thing left is to see, you know, how they taste. So, it's time to taste. All right, here we go. Let's get in here, get some beans and some rib meat and some onions. Some nice little taste here. Nice and hot right now. Let's see. Oh, that's really good. Oh, man. The beans are tender without being mushy. That's one of the things you kind of have to watch for when you're going for a long period of time. The beans can get very tender, but they can basically dissolve. Now, some people like that. I prefer the beans that I make to have that little bit of structure still, but still collapse right when you bite into them. Very tender on the inside. And I gotta say, using the leftover rib meat in beans like this really is perfect. You have all that great flavor from ribs that were smoked, already had rub on them, maybe sauce. You're injecting all that flavor into these beans in addition to the barbecue sauce and other spices we put in there. And you know what? I always like to sprinkle a few scallions on here, but I got ahead of myself, so let's put some scallions on there. Nothing wrong with a little bit of green color there, and the taste of scallions goes great with beans. Mm. This is the kind of dish that if you have a slow cooker that will automatically switch to warm, you could put these in like at 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock the night before. They're going to be done, you know, 8, 9, 10 o'clock the next day, and they're going to stay warm until the afternoon. Maybe you're throwing a party in the afternoon or you want some beans for lunch or for dinner. Perfect way to make them. So if you've never made barbecued pork and beans before, give it a try. Try making the beans yourself by soaking them overnight instead of using pre-made canned beans. This gives you complete control over the texture, the flavor, how much spice you put into it. Give yourself some good leftover pork in here, some great sauce. I love good beans.